What's up, you guys? My name is Marion with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for, um, for all signs, caps to the side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 12,000. What are we at? 12,250, I think. Hold on. Yeah, 12,250 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, a quick little disclaimer real quick. A um, little information before we get into the daily tea. Um, okay. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, okay. So we've, I've had some newbies on here recently join and welcome newbies. Love and appreciate Rider Dies and everybody's been with me for a hot minute because I've had this channel for about two and a half years and newbies. But the way it works is the more you like, the more you energy share with my channel, i.e. watching the channel and liking the video or videos, it, it helps me draw your energy in. Um, you or somebody, well, it's usually you. It could, or in some cases, it could be somebody you're connected to. But um, the point is energy sharing with the channel, the more you like the channel, the like the videos, and you watch the channel, I can pull your energy in better to deliver you psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages to the channel. Okay, so the liking actually goes dual energy. That is number one. I can pull your energy in as a psychic and a prophetess. Way two is it helps me on the YouTube analytics and business side because the more you like my video or videos, the higher the analytics rate goes on YouTube and the more it gets around YouTube. So more people my videos are shared with with the higher like counts i get so the liking of the video or videos are very 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 important um, for everybody everybody on here i don't care if they're a reader or not a reader everybody that has uh channels on youtube that's important that's why everybody says like share subscribe um or one of the reasons brother so just to let everybody know but from the from me the psychic and prophetess, it helps me two ways. One, that way, business side. Two, energy sharing. Okay? I have been doing a lot of pre recorded to protect my energy, uh, even though I know I'm very high in the spiritual realm, and I know nobody can take my gifts, and I know it would automatically return back to sender. Anybody that tried any shysty spiritual attacks on me, I know it would return to sender, because... I just know that about myself and I'm, and I'm not being haughty on a high horse. I'm just being for real. I've done a lot of healing and shadow work and growth on myself. So I know it's going to automatically return to sender, but I still want to protect my energy for me. Okay. So just let you guys know, um, newbies to the channel. I do do lives every now and then because I know you guys like lives, but it's rare. So just to let you guys know, I do a lot of pre-recordings, okay, for that reason. But the liking is very, very, very important dual-wise on my channel for those two reasons, okay? I just want to make that very abundantly clear for everybody, um, it's especially newbies just joining that has no clue maybe how psychic um, services work, especially on the online spectrum like this, um, or psychic services, period, okay? I love you guys so very much. I do, I do, I do. Who? Um, I do. Okay. So I've got the video a little skewed because everybody knows I got my kids July 1st. And everybody, please keep me in, my, uh, in your thoughts and prayers if you do pray. Um, or meditate or whatever you do in your spirituality side if you are spiritual or religious or just spiritual. Um because I have court date on July 15th, um, custody battle, okay? 
So just everybody keep me in your thoughts, please. I'd very much appreciate it. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So this is for, and I'm sorry I went through all that, but I felt it was necessary, okay? This is our sun reading. I did fire signs last night. This is our sun reading. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For sun signs and Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, if you have a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your sun sign. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. A home daycare is about to become very significant in Earth Sign's life. A home daycare is about to become very significant in Earth Sign's life, is what I heard. Home daycare, so some kind of home daycare energy. Um, some kind of home daycare is about to become significant in your life, so you could run this home daycare or be connected to somebody in a home daycare or, um, or utilize services of a home daycare. How that resonates? Um, in one's life towards Capricorn Virgo. Okay. The thinking man, number 46, could be very significant number of one's life, number 46. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number of one's life, number 46. Also, number 39, number 38, number 36. Also, number 39, 38, 36. 40, 54, 53, 40, 54, 53, 37, 37. 31. 29, 28, 31, 29, 28. So um, there, that's a whole list of numbers. So you can go back and check them if you need to hear the whole list of them. Um, I feel for a majority of you guys, it might be a significant age of you or somebody you're connected to, but it really could be any significant number in one's life. Um, however that resonates and applies in one's life, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Spirit messages you have for our sons. Vision. A lingerie company is about to become very significant in a, in a earth sign's life. One, you're about to get a job at this lingerie company. One, it is your lingerie company not doing well. Okay, I heard a lingerie company is about to become significant in a, um, Earth Signs Life. For one, you're about to get a job at this lingerie company. For one, you own or co-own a lingerie company, and I heard it's not doing well. So um, I guess business is not doing well, or there's something um, going on with your employer or employees or investments or what have you, what have you, where it's not doing well. Uh, one, you own this lingerie business and it's not doing well. One, you're about to get a job at a lingerie company. Congrats to the one about to get a job at the lingerie company. I would love, love, love to work at a lingerie company um, as like a fashion designer or, or maybe even or sales or I wouldn't even care. That would be so cool working at a lingerie company. And I'm just being for real. I wonder which one it is. Um, there's a bunch of lingerie companies out there. Um, Victoria's Secret, Adore Me, um, I mean, that's plethora. So whatever lingerie company you're about to get a, get a job at, congrats, whoever you are, Earth Sign. Okay, Passion.
Creative juices flowing. Are about to really, really start flowing. Creative original ideas. Creative juices flowing. About to really, really start flowing. Creative original ideas is what I heard. So passion, energy. Um, whoever you are, you're very creative. You're very original. Um, this is not theft or um, stealing other people's ideas or um, or or you know fraud or um, or plagiarism or something like that. It's true creative original passion passionate ideas. For some, it could be involving your lingerie. Um, I would love to be a lingerie designer. I'm so serious. I love fashion. I just do. Anybody knows me knows that. Um, it could be involving lingerie or something else. You plug it in how it resonates, but passionate creative ideas, uh, creative juice energy, your own creative juice energy. Uh, for some, you might need to get a patent. If you come up with an invention, um, possibly, or um, a copyright if you need to. Um, on the legal side, I didn't hear that you uh, needed to, but maybe. Um, let me see underneath real quick. Yep, okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that's really beautiful. Congrats, whoever that's for. So, creative juice energy, absolutely. About to help someone get into the witness protection program soon. About to help someone get into the witness protection program soon is what I heard. So one of you guys is about to be passionate about helping someone get into the witness protection program soon. I heard you're going to help someone get into the witness pro protection program. So it's not you um, going to get into the witness protection program. It's somebody you know, um, Ursan. It sounds like you're going to reveal information to help this person get into the witness protection program so you're passionate about helping this person or about to be happen passionate about helping this helping helping this person with movement forward um to help this person get into a witness protection program soon um that's beautiful now you're taking on fire sign energy here because this fire sign card in here your earth sign but everybody takes on all signs energies depending on how you hone and utilize it and grow it and manifest in yourself. In this aspect, you're taking on the fire sign energy, passion, creativity, drive, motivation, which we all take on different signs. Like I'm a fire sign. Um, well, sun. I'm a Leo sun. I take on our sign energy, um, stable, grounded, dependable, reliable energy. Um, but it's really all depend on how we utilize it, hone it. This aspect, you're about to take on fire sign energy. So congrats to you, sir, ma'am. Um, and it's good that you care about this person or people that you're about to help get into the witness protection program because um, something big's going down or is about to go down in an area or a community or something. Um, and you don't want this person to get harmed, I'm presuming, or you're afraid they're going, somebody's going to try to harm them. That's what I feel. The thinking man. A Taurus is about to take a lot of stolen money to the police soon. It's about to create many, 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 many series of train of events. Many. They realized they were scammed in a huge way in the past, and they were. Did you find it? You found what you a Taurus is about to take a lot of uh, stolen money to uh, police soon. I heard they realized they were scammed in a huge, huge, huge way in the past. And I heard you're right, Taurus, you are. Um, and it's going to create many positive series of chain events there. Um, I think with you and the police and maybe, um, maybe, 
maybe you're the one about to help somebody uh, get into the witness protection program, possibly. Uh, for some, um, for some, the witness protection program might be connected to that message. For some, maybe not. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But some a Taurus out there has a lot of stolen money. I'll tell you that. Um, and basically, um, they're about to do the right thing and turn it into police. But whatever Taurus has this stolen money, I heard basically they were lied to. They were manipulated and lied to. And um, but they're about to turn the wheel in their favor. You, sir, ma'am, Taurus, you're about to turn the wheel in your favor and um, turn the wheel in your favor and basically tell the police everything that happened, I'm presuming. That's what I would do. Um, if I was lied to and given all this stolen money and then realized the truth, I would go turn it in. Um, that's what I would do because that's the right thing to do. Um, for the person's money it is or the situation's money it is and for you. To let the police know that you didn't mean to be in part of any crazy crime. And that's just the truth. But that's that's what I would do. Of course, I'm not you, Taurus. So, you know, you have to do what's best for you. Okay? The thinking man. A grandfather is about to give a Taurus invaluable advice. For some, a mother. Okay. For some, a grandfather. For some, a mother is about to give you invaluable advice. So the thinking man, um, I think for some, you could be a masculine energy and you're really going to mull over this invaluable advice. For some, the thinking man could be your grandfather. Um, um, and he's thinking on... Um, all the invaluable advice he wants to deliver you, which it sounds like he's about to. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, it's your mother. For some, it's your grandfather. Um, and the thinking man also could be the thinking woman, i.e. your mother, um, thinking about all the wonderful and valuable advice she wants to give you. And trust me, I'm a mother. I'm a mother of two teenagers, so I get it. Um, ones that truly do care about our children um, and don't and neglect and abuse them and um, truly want what's best for them in their life, you want to give them all the best advice, life advice, period, point blank. Um, I know I have. I mean, I'm not claiming I'm perfect because God knows I'm not, but um, I definitely want what's best for my kids, period, point blank. And I feel most of you guys do too, um, if you have kids, if you have kids. But um, whoever this is for, whether you're single, with somebody or married or what have you, what have you, somebody's grandfather and somebody's mother is about to give them invaluable advice, whoever you are, Taurus. I mean, not Taurus, um, Ursan. Um, sorry, I was pulling Taurus in earlier. Ursan, Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Uh, somebody's mother and somebody's grandfather. So um, I think your mother or grandfather, you know, introduced me reverse, so it can be thinking woman as well, um, is about to... Um, really i think sit you down and give you some invaluable advice and i think you masculine taurus uh why do i maybe you're masculine taurus why do i keep saying that or um masculine earth sign masculine earth sign or fem earth sign you're going to really really think about what they told you or at least i hope so hopefully you're not going to be an impulsive energy and just run off and just do what the hell ever you know what i'm saying um if they are upright individual now you have to discern the toxic family from the not toxic family. Um, and that's just the truth. So hopefully these are upright individuals that truly care about you, that want what's best for you in life, that don't try to sabotage you, you or manipulate you or exploit you or abuse you or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, some it's your mother, some it's your grandfather. You plug it in, how it resonates. Rapid response soon. It's going to really, really, really open up Earth sign's eyes in a huge way, huge way. Rapid response soon. It's about to really, really open up Earth sign's eyes in a huge way. So rapid response for anybody who doesn't know, it's um, rapid response in a hospital is like go right now. Like 
critical go it's a team basically in a hospital i didn't say this i didn't hear this was in a hospital i just heard rapid response so it could be in any aspect it could be in a home situation a workplace situation etc 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 but i've worked two hospitals so and i'll just tell you from my experience there's rapid response teams in hospitals um for like codes and things like that they go immediately um that's automatically what i think of but this doesn't have to be a code team in a hospital is what i'm saying this could be anything um some kind of rapid response is about to really open up uh, ursine's eyes soon so i'm thinking emergency emergency medical services if it's not in a hospital or a um healthcare setting i think in like ems is gonna have to be called emergency emergency medical um, services um like somebody is about to code i think somebody's about to code um whether it's um in a facility a hospital in public or in private somebody's about to code i think ems is about to have to be called emergency medical services and i'm just being for real um wherever this is i didn't hear specifically where it was but i heard once it occurs it's going to open your eyes up earth sign so um your eyes open to the situation maybe of somebody's health that has just is really really crappy and you didn't realize their health was crappy or that their conditions are worse than what you thought or something of that nature is what i'm feeling um or the severity of the situation is way more severe than you thought um, how that resonates earth sign you're going to be thinking on this whether you're a masculine or a femme earth sign you're going to be thinking on this once um the rapid response is initiated whether it's in a public space uh already they're already in a healthcare setting or um at home or what have you okay vision which is going to create movement going to create movement vision a vision board already created by earth sign is about to become very helpful and significant in their life and another earth sign is about to create a vision board oh i love it so vision board energy so some of you guys has already created a vision board another one of you guys is about to um the one that's already created the um vision board i heard you're basically it, um it's about to help you um okay i'm sorry um somebody for a personal reading i apologize so um so yeah so um the one that already has the um vision board lined out i'm mean, already completed and done a sir ma'am um it's about to help you in huge ways i think that's about to give you um inspiration i think it's about to give you inspiration and uh hopefully you um, have already set up a positive altar in your home space um or living space or you're about to with the vision board um those are really wonderful like the altars not dark arts altars here we're not talking about dark arts altars we're talking about positive light side altars um that you know you're not trying to hide from folks and the blood of some 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 animal sacrifices and what have not that positive altar spaces um for whatever practice of religion or spirituality you practice those are beautiful and um i'm going to eventually um hopefully when i hopefully when my kids back kids back july 15th one of my creative ideas for my daughter i want us to create a vision board together i want me and her to do it me and her period point blank um because she's very creative and i am too and i want us to do it together um so that's an idea that i want to do with me and her um of course after all this court situation gets ironed out for us uh, july 15th um hopefully it goes in my favor fingers crossed um but one of you guys has already created one it's about to inspire you i think and really really propel you forward another one you're about to create the vision board and it's about to i think inspire you and um help you propel forward um, in this aspect, vision is inspiration and vision board energy, um, which is going to create positive movement in your life. I think with the inspiration and the vision board and, um, and 
positivity here with passion. You have the passion card, which is really beautiful. I mean, and I'm just being for real. Everybody deserves inspiration, positivity, and passion in their life. I don't care what sign you are. And that's just the truth. Someone is about to get slipped a roofie in a club soon. It's about to open up earth sign's eyes in a huge way. For one earth sign, they're about to get slipped a roofie in a club. Oh my God, that's terrible. So for one of you guys, it's somebody you're connected to about to get slipped a roofie in a club. Uh, for one of you guys, it's you about to get slipped a roofie in a club. Um, that's why I don't go club hopping, bar hopping, what have you, what have you. I mean, I have back in the day, not club hopping or bar hopping. I just went to bars, um, not to pick up people, but you know, to hang out, night, uh, nightcaps, what have you. But this is like club hopping, whatever. I mean, these people, I think they live to do this crap, whoever they are. One of you guys apparently love, lives to do this crap too, or signs. But one of you guys about to get around the wrong person. You're about to get slipped a roofie. That might be where the emergency medical services um, might have to be called with maybe somebody coach. Uh, maybe. I don't, I mean, I've never, uh, I don't know about the, uh, I've never been slipped a roofie, at least not to my knowledge, because I don't get around people enough to be slipped roofies. Um, so I don't know, but um, one of you guys is about to learn of somebody being slipped a roofie. I think that's going to open up your eyes too. It's in a club situation. Um, club bar hopping situation for one you're about to be slipped a roofie um, please be careful hopefully it'll give you a wake up call once you get slipped this roofie um, I didn't hear rape in here but I feel people that slip people roofies they do it sometimes to rape them or to steal from them or something negative so somebody needs to be careful and I'm serious um, this hasn't happened yet it sounds like it's upcoming um, one of you guys about to learn about the person being slipped a roofie in a club hopping, bar hopping situation, party situation. One you're about, uh, you're about to be slipped a roofie. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly via social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it, you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.